Hello everyone, welcome to Toy in Talks. Ejeka Joy and Choi. Go for watching till I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe, stay blessed. I love you all. Bye. Mankind, in theology, it's called transubstantiation. But what Jesus actually experienced, it's not how I done. He was killed for the truth. He was killed for what he stood for. And that's what he repeated again in John chapter 8 verse 40. He said, now you are planning to... Let's go to John chapter 8 verse 40 before we continue. Kaka, go to one day. Now, in Koti Jesus of Fonre, maybe people have time, you know what, so we pray he died for the sins of the world. He said, but now, you seek to buy me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do such things. They said the verse appears in the middle of heated arguments between Jesus and local religious leaders. The same arguments we are having now. Is the same argument Jesus was having with them then. Uh, according to what we read, though, Jesus, um, sorry, the verse appears in the middle of a heated argument between Jesus and the local religious leaders during the Feast of Booths. Jesus uses the idea of fatherhood to explain why Abraham, why his opponents are not true sons of Abraham. He argued that G children inherit their nature from their father. The same argument that for what he said now that they inherit their true nature, you and I, you know a tree, a, an apple is not far from the tree. If anybody sees my child now, they will know by some signs, by some um, physical feature and everything that, ah, this is um, Auntie Adunis' daughter, or this is Auntie Adunis' son. Or, you understand? So, he was saying these people did not, they are not following Abraham. He argues that children inherit their nature from their father and, they, and those who are Abraham's spiritual children will do what Abraham did, such as obeying God. So those were the arguments they were arguing. And they said, ah, this one has come to spoil our business. And they sought to buy him. Jesus was buy because of what he was saying, not because he died for anybody. This is the argument this man is having against Abel Damina. That they built, the Amina should not say Jesus died for our sins. He did not die for anybody's sin. If you sin, you will pay the price. So don't go and do what is not good and you say, I have sinned. And I am, I am free. Uh -uh. If you sin, then go catch you, you go and pay the price. That is just it. Kayode, you said, if Jesus didn't die for our sins, then by God's law, we are destined to perish for our sins. The only boy that wrote the Bible for you and said you are going to perish for what your sin. Which of the sin are you perishing for? You to mention one. Mention the sin that you think you have in your life that is likely to make you perish. Can we take it from there? Mention one of the sin that you think is likely to make you perish as a woman be. Kayo de Oboja, I just ask you a question. Mention one of the sin that will make you to perish or that is likely to make somebody perish. Let's take it from there. Mention one sin that is likely to make somebody perish that will make God to deal with that person and perish. I'm waiting, oh. Even though this guy used some strong words for Abel, he should understand that Abel is not yet there. And we should allow him gradually. Thank you. You say mother, fornication, adultery. Um, the same adultery that you mentioned now. Or fornication. Fornication is when somebody that is not married have sex, right? Abraham was not married to a guy. Contradictions. Those are the contradictions we are talking of. 
So for the part, if you murder somebody, you go to jail. If you fornicate, you will be the one to pay the price. If you commit adultery, you will pay the price. In the days of old, when they see somebody carry one other person, husband, and wife, then they bring them out, they stone them. Nobody, they pay them. Somebody said David committed both murder and adultery. Why God no pay him? You are no more under the law. Then what has Jesus come to do for you? You are contradicting yourself. You are no more under the law. So what are you under? So Jesus is only waving your sin while you are alive. When you die, you pay for it. <laughs> A man that has told you the truth. Then in John chapter 8, verse 45, he consolidated John chapter 8, verse 37, and John chapter 8, verse 40, by saying, you believe me not because I tell you the truth. Jesus died because of the truth. Jesus did not die for, because of your fornication, adultery, and masturbation, and stealing, and all that. You know, God does not require, uh, God doesn't require anything like uh, like uh, blood sacrifice to forgive sins. That's not God. Just as Damina says that God does not need money for him to bless you. God does not need the blood of Jesus. God does not need the blood of any anybody to forgive the sins of anybody or mankind. So for a Damina to still push this Christocentric doctrine that Jesus has paid the price on the cross of Calvary, Abel Damina is still a fallacious pastor. He's still reeling in fallacy. He cannot dare that doctrine. I have dared that doctrine. And since 1985, I've been speaking against that doctrine. And I've suffered it. I've suffered it. Since I've been consistent. Since 1985, I've been consistent. So I'm different from Abel Damina. Abel Damina is still a false prophet. And that I, I rest my case. Because he's not speaking the full truth that, that you want. There is one particular parable, the parable of the wicked husbandmen. Where Jesus said, a man built an estate, he put a hole, he put everything, landscape, he leased it out. And Coyote, you said... You are sorry. If I, Jesus didn't die for us, we are doomed. And you may know. I hope you are not counting me among them. Me, I am not doomed, though. I am not doomed. Doomed for what? Doomed for what? It's the narrative and the story they told us that Jesus died, and if you don't accept him, you are doomed. Doomed for what? What are you doomed for? Don't, don't count me, John, you know. Me, I'm not doomed, though. Jesus didn't die for my sin, even though I believed that story before. This is no narrative. It is the truth. Can you prove it? Do you have anything to prove it? That Jesus died for the sins of the whole world. Even the countries that were not in existence then. Even the countries that were not in existence, even children that were not born. This man is saying the truth. That Abel is not ready to say the truth, the real truth. That Jesus died for speaking what they don't want to hear in the society. Just like Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. So many people that have gone for speaking the truth. That is exactly what he's saying. And they twist it and make a story out of it for us. That Jesus died for the whole world. If you don't accept him, you are going to... And in the process, a lot of people were quiet in the, in the early days. They use it against humanity. And that is why I say all these pastors, they know the truth. They know they are not paying no price for anything. They are living. They are surviving. And that is why they are milking you dry. That is why they are lying to you. They know what you want to hear. I'm not saying believe what I'm saying. I'm not saying accept what the man is saying. But take it or leave it. The man is saying some truth. You may not like him. John 3, 6. For God so, so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever does not believe in him will not have his lasting life. Which life? How many of your forefathers don't die? We never, we, 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 no, we come back.
Welcome back. Yes, Jesus during his lifetime teach kindness, teach being good to your to your fellow man. The story of the good Samaritan. How we need to treat ourselves and be good to each other. How they are not supposed to use. Uh, there was no Christianity then, self. There was nothing like Christianity when Jesus was alive. Those were kind of the things that Abel was saying. There was nothing like Christian when Jesus was existing, according to the story we had. It was when they left, some people gathered themselves together and said, we are Christians. There was nothing like Christianity. There was nothing. And see, if you deny Christ in this world, he will deny you in front of his father. Let him deny me. I don't know Jesus. I be I know him. I don't. Have I seen him before? No. Have I met him? No. You want me to lie? I will not lie either by omission or by confusion. I have never met Jesus. I have never seen him. I don't know him. So how did I lie? I'm not lying because I've never seen him. I don't know him. I've never met him. So, or because just imagine that I'm meeting somebody in my brain and said I've met Jesus. I've seen Jesus. Uh -uh. You just want me to imagine that in my brain like so many people are doing. No, I won't do that. If I used to do it in those days, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not imagining something anymore. I'm not hallucinating anymore. I refuse to hallucinate. That I've seen Jesus. I met Jesus. I touched Jesus. No, I did not. I did not touch Jesus. I did not see Jesus. I have never met Jesus. I don't know him apart from the story. I have never seen him. You that you are saying you have seen Jesus, you have met Jesus, you have touched Jesus, you are lying. Yes, you are lying. And you say all liars will go to hell. You see, say you go first me enter the hell before I go. All of you go first take me enter that hell before I go that hell fire. When he was alive, according to story, if you can reason, if you can use your logic before everything was twisted, he never had religion. He never had religion. He was just going about doing his own thing, living as a normal woman being. And telling people, don't do bad. Don't do bad. Don't do bad to somebody. Don't do bad to somebody. So I don't know him. I've never met him. I've, don't see, I've never seen him. And somebody said, you have not seen God, but you believe in God. I've been now. I don't know. I've never seen God. I've never met God. But to say... That we so the only one person, if you don't believe that in that person, you are doomed, is what we are talking here. Why should I believe in him? Why should I think he's my God? That's what we are saying here. So, Abel Damina, to some extent, is waking up people at least step by step, maybe one day. So Jesus was more like Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, all those people that have tried to speak the truth. Don't they, pa? It's just like them. Your pastors know the truth, and that is why their lives is not aligning with what you believe in. And he sent people, his servants, to collect rent. They killed them, injured them. He sent his manager, they killed them. He now sent his son, they killed his son. He now asked the Jews, he said, what will the Lord of the fire do to this people? He said, he will come there, deal with them, throw them out of the estate. So they discovered that Jesus was talking about them. So they wanted to attack Jesus, and Jesus fled. Jesus did not die for the sin of anybody. anybody. If you commit, if you continue to have unprotected sin, uh, protected sex, sex, you have STI, sexually transmitted or, you get the or HIV. Jesus, the death of Jesus will not save you from that condition. Oh, oh. those are your prices. You pay it right there. You shoot you. Jesus cannot save you from that. So, for Damina to still believe in this Jesus resurrected from death. Martin Luther died, but he never rose up. Where is your evidence? 
Where is your evidence that he died and rose again? Remember, they said they went to the tomb. They didn't see anybody. Now only clothes they see. Whether they carry a commode, they carry a go somewhere. Something that happened which year is coming back again. He never come till now. You are expecting him when, when you young pie finish, and many of the evidence is in the Bible. Kayo de Oboja, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not arguing anything with you at this stage. It's in the Bible. The Bible that we borrowed and manipulate. He is not different. I mean, a God, I mean, you are among the people that believe that the God writes Bible. Because some people believe, say, that Bible, God writes Bible. Up till now, some people still believe, say, that God writes Bible. Now you are talking about Jesus and resurrecting. Somebody said, Elijah, Elijah and God, there are some people that they don't know how they died. Abi, they don't know how they died. I can't I mean, remember names now. From the people he is accusing. Thank you very much and have a good day. The Abel Damina is a force of it. God bless you. Anybody who is sin is not sinning against God, he's sinning against himself. And um, commit adultery and fornication. You are. Okay, Kayode, if you say the Bible was written by man, inspired by the Holy Spirit, so all the errors. Holy Spirit is committed error. You know there are a lot of errors in that Bible. This same time you are talking of, what the Bible says in uh, Deuteronomy is different from what is said in uh, Malachi. It's different from how your pastor interprets it. The same Bible told us that Solomon had 700 wives. Abi, the same Bible told us that people, God told, people, God, God told them to go and buy people. In other words, the God that they introduced to us now God where they buy people. I beg. Anyway, some of us have gone past that. I just want us to listen to this guy that says Abel Damina is a false prophet. Uh, my darling brother, who former Bernard, if you care to see this video, please let us allow Abel gradually to get to the stage where he will speak the truth. People are listening to him. If you talk now, he will be discouraged from continuing to speak. And before you know it, it can go back and be milking people too, back. If you dis discourage him, this guy will not speak again. He's the only one speaking among them. And we all see what he's going through. My own, my own little coin, you know, allow this guy uh, to continue what he is doing. Gradually, he's waking people up. And we know he's waking people up. Either he has gotten there or he's scared of speaking out the real truth. But whatever, whatever, at least our people are getting to know that. Look, go and use your life, your years, your energy, your productive time. Go and use it for something that will benefit your whole life. If you like, so sit from now till tomorrow. Now only your pastor will get rich. Let us continue on that path. You cannot stop our people from religion. That is one thing. This aspect of people stopping religion is an individual thing. It's an individual thing and you cannot push people. We are not yet there. I always say it. We are not yet there at all. And a lot of people will not get there. Because I tell people one thing. I say that religion, either Islam, Christianity, or traditional is what our people are holding on to against poverty, against the problem we are facing as a people. So religion is the one giving them false hope where many people never buy themselves. So let us allow them. The only thing is that let's keep preaching about them giving on what they are giving. Let us keep telling them, go and use your productive years. But to stop people, say they don't do religion. It's an individual decision makes make them not do religion again we cannot force some things on people because it's an individual conviction that will get you there if you are not yet convinced you get out of it 
Some will start crying himself. Say, ah, whether they don't sin against God by not going to church. It took some of us some years to get to this and say, ah, ah, all these things are fabu. Even at that, the little we are saying, people are still arguing it. They say, we don't know what we are saying. And the Bible said it. God said it. When you ask them, which time God talk him? Which time God talk the thing? Then go say it's in the Bible. If you now say it's in the Bible, in another chapter of the Bible, this is what it says. It's contradictory. Are you saying God is confused? There are so many questions to be asked from that Bible, but I don't like some things to argue with some people about some things. Let me just leave it and be running it through my own mind myself. Ah, this one. Ah, and I lie. It be like this. It be like this. Even here, religion is used to turn people to some extent. That is what religion is. Religion is for taming. Religion is for holding people down. I bought Christianity. Okay, somebody said Christianity is not religion, but way to God. Okay, so Christianity is the only way to God. Hold on. I want to read the list of religion for you. Is Christianity a religion? Now, when people begin question that it now turns to it is not a religion. Yes, Christianity is a religion. And one of the widest, largest, and most wide, uh, widespread religion with about 2.4 billion followers all over the world. Religion, Christianity is one of the religion existing. You can give it your own definition that it is way of life. You can give it a definition. That way of life, somebody that is not a Christianity, they go through that way of life too. So what do you call them? Somebody that is a Muslim go through that same way of life. Somebody that does not even believe in the existence of God go through that way of life. Or what is the way of life you are talking about? Maybe I will put it as updates. And say, Christianity, they say, is a way of life. What are the ways of life that you mean? And let's rub minds together. So this man said, Abel Damina is a false prophet. Uh, maybe before. To me, Abel Damina is no more a false prophet, but is a prophet that is waking up and trying to speak some truth. And it's going to be gradual, and we should allow him the way, I mean, to go through this gradual process of his life. We should not try to bully him and make him shut up. When we all meet Jesus, no, let's be part of Jesus. Can you do a good job? Let's be part of Jesus. Where are you going to meet Jesus? And you are coming back to tell people that you have met Jesus. Okay, when I meet Jesus, I can tell him it's not real. It's simple. Oh, okay. Magician. Magician, you know, sorry. My father was so funny. We must be so funny. To buy the banner. To me, my mother is very bad. Jesus. My mother is very. How many of your forefathers, how many of them have come back to tell you they've seen Jesus? No vex, so my brother, you are very my you are my one of my good friend. Has anybody come to tell you because you're always respectful with your comments? Has any of your forefathers or any of your four four forefathers told you that one of your great 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 generation yet on bonus? I mean, we don't quite they saw Jesus and they came to tell them. Oh, yeah, can you one of us need now? Ah. Science is the only thing that is proving. Every other thing does not have proof. It's when we pass to the afterlife that we will see him. Okay, give me evidence of somebody that passed to afterlife and saw him and came back to tell you how he was. Hey, hold on, Angel. Hey, hold on, Angel. Sake, Sake, tell me that after life. To pada wa ton wa I have gone no un continue to sorry. That after life. Eh? 
ke mo de lohun ogoja a de answer you o ni ati mi am answering you that is why actually i've been saying this thing that your pastors know what you don't know i said your pastors know what you don't know and that is why they are doing what they are doing they know the truth they have studied they have done research they know and that is why they carry on but of course they have to continue to use that name to merchandise Kayode, i once believed that too in fact in my own brain i don't they see him i don't they imagine him in my own brain in those days i they hallucinate too I they see him. I see him white. You know the way they describe him for us. That is why I was I was seeing him too. White here. Tall. So they, I dream of person. I say that Jesus I see. Now woman being I see. The woman being where I see in that dream, I later met in life. But in those days, when I still did deep, I say that Jesus I see. Until I see the person in Kuro Kuro. I see the person where I see for dream that time. Oh. Hey. The day you buy is the end. Nobody has buy to come back. Oh, you both try for this one. Then try because we can never get out of it. So, my darling brother, former Bernard, you are one of the people doing the liberation. But it be like say you, you don't vex. You know, you don't vex for them. Well, well. So that is why you use this word. Hey, but Amina is just coming up. Let us give him time. Let him continue the little he's doing. Even though some people say, sure, you know, they collect offering and tight again. I don't know. And that's a very good question. We should ask Abel. How is he doing this work? This one that is condemning other pastors too. We hope he's not collecting money again. And the ones he has collected, the properties he has acquired, what is he going to do about it? I think that's a very valid question that he needs to be asked. But on the other ones, please let us allow Abel gradually continue to do the liberation and the teaching. He is doing there might be error in his teaching like you said i agree uh religion go and study religion religion is for taming people all over the world there is nowhere and every religion is used to tame people is used to hold people and is used for control take it or leave it go and do your research and uh it is looking for a way to make money Oh no, what God tell them one is very rich. Anyway, on this note, Monique is already you seeing it. God bless every one of us. Hey, Joe, I can't bring the real video out. I have posted a clip of his video. Yesterday, I sent somebody there yesterday to get the beverage. Oh my dad. So I'm so glad the child is taking the baby food very well. So that's a good one. But please. Help us to kindly. This is the post. I have posted it. Ejo, she needs help for her surgery. I have spoken to the doctor. I have spoken to our doctor yesterday. I am on court. Yes, we come and she is on Shelley. Yes, we are going to come to Obabi live in Umu. Nilo son. I am on Shelley. Tony, to to suffer one. You are like Banye. Be good to your be, be a good Samaritan. Be your brother's keeper. Be nice. Be shaking it. You read me not sing. I'm pastor in the Pami. Funny moon shaking But of course, go tell if you miss a story. You understand? I will do here. I will do ra. So nobody can use us for story. Anyway, so uh I sent some baby food. I asked them to go and get some baby food that the sister bought um at the supermarket yesterday. The SME gold was what we got for them. And the baby have started feeding on it and we are hoping the baby with time will look um nourished so this is tosin i spoke with the doctor yesterday uh no two days ago so they are going to give me feedback tomorrow the surgery is still going to hold so please we are appealing the account number is on the post. Kindly help us to, no matter how little, to donate. She needs about two million plus for the surgery. 
to get back our life together. And John Tori or no, please, she needs help. She really needs help. She really needs help. And I want to say a very big thank you to every one of you that contributed to Mr. Akoni. Akoni, Aminu Akoni. Thank you so much. I sent the video to say thank you, but his voice was too weak, so I'm not putting it out. His voice was very weak when he was talking, but we have gotten a, a, a lot of money for him, and he has, he's going to have his supply for the next four months. Medication, according to Oto Riba. So, uh, Joe, we, we, we need help now desperately for Tosin to get our life back. This is the video. So, they got SMA gold for the baby yesterday. And at least that has kept her happy to some extent. So, they took her baby to her. I mean, yeah, Lano. So, I asked her, they sent me the video. Please, we still need help for her. That's the baby. The baby is a girl. So I spoke to the doctor. The doctor is going to give me feedback tomorrow. And I will update you guys on what the doctor said. Uh, they are going to observe her again for something tomorrow. One fashion examination. Then, according to the doctor, now, from the anus. But Kini who's out. That is why you see that bandage on her tummy. The poop is still losing out on her tummy, uh, but it has to really be corrected so that we need see infection, you know, because the poop is coming out. Yes, the account details is on my page, Tony Modi. I want to contact you back for your old DS, but the response is very, very low. Very, very low. I'm not sure she has gotten up to 100, 100,000 yet. I'm not sure. So, but at least. I and so I mean, the, the baby aspects and another sister says she's going to help with the baby aspect. So uh, we are watching out on for the baby too. So Gilason Lomonye Mutele, but the baby is on SME Gold now, and the baby is going to continue the SME Gold for the next six months. That's what I want to do. For the next six months, the baby is going to be on SMO Gold so that the baby can be fine. Then I will do monitoring according to the voice note the junior sister sent to me. Um, because of the confusion of the mother's situation, there was some injection they were supposed to take for the baby. They missed one or two of the injection. Mother in the law back by that. Tosi, thank you. Taiwa Digun, God bless you, my brother. Please, everybody, help me say thank you to Taiwa Digun. He volunteered himself with his own transportation to go and see the lady yesterday. He was actually the one that went and felicitated how they brought and they bought the uh, the baby food. So kindly help me to say a big thank you to him. Brother, God bless you. Thank you so much. Uh, you have really done well. So he came back with the same report that us that sister gave that. The situation has affected her eyes. She's not seeing very well again. But for now, Conte Koko Shekinine, who is survived, Tio Barin Rokupomo, maybe as at that time, we don't know what they want to do as for that. But at least that she can take care of the baby. Survivor of that baby is very key. So let's concentrate on taking care of that for now. As for the eyes, I don't know yet. So, uh, Joe, please kindly help us to donate into the accounts the account details is on this particular post that is the post before this my video before this live video yeah before the live video i would i would share it i would share it. the account number is pinned there is is on the post and i actually put the short clip of where the poop was oozing out but i have to cover because she was naked so I had to cover most of the part of the body because of, you understand, I can't bring her out there. But you can see the thing dropping out from her tummy on the floor. That is the short clip I put in the comment section. So please, Tosin really needs our help. Any Tere, before, hopefully in the next two weeks, we are able to raise enough for the surgery to start. Thank you very much. Thank you, my darling brother. Taiwa Digun, you appreciate it. Thank you so much. So at this point, please let me go. God bless every one of us. See you guys. Maybe tomorrow. I'm not too sure. Bye.